this is a lesson on estimating differences. And so this is going to be a lot like the uh, lesson on estimating sums, but instead of adding, we're going to be subtracting. So um, it is lesson six of unit two, whole numbers. And um, we're going to start with an explore. So it says the first day the ski hills were open, uh, 1,368 tickets were sold. The second day, 1,155 lift tickets were sold. Um, about how many more tickets were sold on the first day? Estimate to find out. So remember that when a problem says the word about, it's asking you just to estimate. It's not always going to say estimate to find out, it's just going to say about, and you're expected to know that that means to estimate, not find the real answer. Okay? So please pause the video, see if you can figure out the answer, you are subtracting, and then play again and I'll go through it with you. Okay, so you should be finished. And so the two numbers we're working with are this one and this one. And it wants to know how many more tickets were sold on the first day. So the first day was just over 13,000 and the second day was over 11,000. So we're going to um, round and I'm gonna round to the nearest 100. And so we've got the 100 is right there, the three. So we look right next door. Uh, six is five or more, so we raise the score. So our number is going to be 1,400. And then we're going to subtract this number, but round it. And again, at the 100th place, which is a one, but it has a five next door. So again, we're gonna raise the score to 1,200. And we are going to be left with 200. Okay, um, and then we have to answer in the form of a sentence. Uh, uh, how about 200 more lift tickets were sold. Okay, so that's basically what we're going to be doing. Um, and here we go. So it says, you can use the same strategies to estimate differences as you did to estimate sums. So we looked at three strategies. Uh, we really uh, focused on um, one strategy, but we'll review them. So we've got front end rounding. So if I'm going to use front end rounding, then I'm going to look at the front and then round just like I did above. Okay. So uh, step one, subtract the first digits of the numbers. So we've got 3,000 minus 2,000. So we're just looking at, uh, at just the first number and then we get 1,000. So that would be a uh, rounding to the nearest thousands. Then um, you could do that and then you could do a closer estimate remembering this 1,000 and then subtracting the ones in the hundreds. So we could go 800 minus 100 equals 700 and then add the extra 700 to the original estimate of 1,000. So 1,000 plus 700 equals 1,700. Now I know this is like a lot of steps and it seems ridiculous, but uh, you're supposed to do this in your head eventually. So that's why it looks weird, but it's just a way of thinking. It's a way of uh, processing numbers in your head without getting them all jumbled up and mixed up. Okay, um, and so, this example was 3,818 minus 2,079. And so that, as an estimate, is about 1,700, or you could say 1,700. Okay, so that's one way uh, of thinking about it in your head. It's basically doing what we did above though, but just sort of different steps. And then there's compatible numbers. So this strategy has you change the numbers so that they are easier to work with. Okay, so if I had the example 4,803 minus 310, uh, 4,803 is close to 10. And uh, remember with subtracting, when you have the same number, uh, subtract the same number, it equals zeros, right? So we want this to be 10 minus 10. So I would just change 4,803 to 4,810 uh, because of the 10 in the other number. And then you go 4,810 minus 310. So the tens cancel each other out. So all you're really doing is subtracting the three from the eight and the four stays the same. And so eight minus three is five and you're left with 4,500. And that's a, that's a pretty accurate estimate. 
Okay, and then there's another option here. Uh, 310 is close to 303, so uh, you could change the 310 to 303, and then the, the 03 and the 03 cancel each other out, and you're still left with the same estimate though. Okay, so compatible numbers is just making, um, or it's changing numbers to something that's close to the other number so that it's easier to do in your head. It's not necessarily uh, rounding like we did up there, but it's finding numbers that are easy to work with, okay? Um, and on yours, you have the textbook assignment here, but I've moved it down now to the, to the appropriate spot. So just keep, keep in mind that we still have more to do here. Um, and so we've got some examples here. So um, we're going to use friend end rounding or the rounding method that I showed you in the very beginning. You don't necessarily have to do all those steps in the example um, that we've read. But what you're going to do is uh, you're going to answer this one using front end rounding, and you're going to answer this one using compatible numbers. And then uh, once you've finished that, then you're going to watch me do it. So you're going to need to pause the video right now and complete these two questions. Okay, so you should be finished. And so let's go through this together. Um, so use front end rounding. And so that's just regular rounding. And normally you, you use sort of the front two numbers for front end rounding depending on what the numbers are. But, um, so we've got 5,849 and that rounds to 5,800. And then we've got 3,097 and that rounds to uh, 3,100. Then we subtract, so, so five minus three is two and eight minus one is seven. So that means that our estimate is 2,700 or 2,700. Okay. Um, Right. And then compatible numbers, so we're just finding two numbers that are similar. Now, you don't necessarily, the, pur the purpose isn't really for me to tell you which one to use when. Um, sort of compatible numbers is good when the end numbers are, are close. So you, you're supposed to be able to choose which method you use, rounding or compatible numbers, depending on uh, what the numbers are. But anyways, I told you here just so that you would try both of them. Um, and then so you'll notice that 42 and 58 are pretty similar. So we just have to change one to the other number. It doesn't really matter. Uh, we'll round both to 42, I guess. So we've 77 seven stay the same. And then I guess in this one, 42 stays the same. And then uh, 3,400 stays the same. And then we're just going to change the 58 to a 42. It doesn't really matter what you choose if you go both 58 or both 42, they're both going to end up at zero anyways. Um, so what you're really left with, those cancel each other out. So 77 minus 34, or you could think 7 minus 3, and then 7 minus 4, and then put those canceled out zero. So um, the estimate would be set 4,300. Okay, so you're basically rounding and then subtracting. Remember that you're subtracting and not adding. Some, there's always somebody that does the whole assignment in adding and then they have to do it again. So uh, the textbook assignment is on page 58 to 59 and you're doing numbers 1 to 5.